All right, Mr. G, we're here with Adam from, how do you say it? Sklar. 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 Sklar bikes. That's me. And look at these beautiful, look at these beautiful bikes. They swoop like a, like a beautiful arc, like that. And he's got these cool little things here. And uh, we were told to come over here from Squid Bikes. They told us to come check them out. So, Adam, how did you get yours? You built this frame, right? I did. Yeah. This is a beautiful frame. Is this titanium? This is steel. This is steel. This is titanium. Wow, no kidding. Look at that. And these are beautiful. And are you the welder on this? I do everything. No kidding. Really? And now, now where did you get your start? Uh, I started building bikes in my garage. Really? Yeah. No kidding. I was racing bikes and uh, I always like making things. Uh huh. And so I cut up some tubes and I taught myself to braids. Wow. No kidding. Yeah. And are you also a machinist? Do you, do you run the mill? I do, yeah. I went to, I went to school for machining. Oh, really? No kidding. So I, uh, I worked in a couple of machine shops. So you went to school for for engineering or for machining? Both. 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 Got it. Yeah, so a good idea. Yeah, it's good to yeah. design things. Did you do any of that stuff in high school? No, I didn't. Nothing. We didn't have, we didn't have shop class at all. Did so not I, have shop class. Yeah. Wow. It was terrible. It's bad. Yeah, I know. It I'm a shop teacher and I didn't have it growing up either. So I'm always asking people of, of your caliber and like where, you know, what did you have shop class? And most of them say, you know, either they did and they really appreciate it or they didn't and they really missed out on, you know, they wish they had it, you know? Yeah, I wish I had, I had to teach, teach myself a lot. Yeah. Find, find mentors and stuff. And wow. Good jobs. Yeah. yeah. And um, what, uh, uh, what kind of, what school did you go to? Montana State. Okay. I'm, in, I'm in Montana still. Right there, okay, yeah, all right. And you're majoring in manufacturing tech or? Uh, it's mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering, okay. Kind of focus on, focus on process. Did you do SolidWorks for this or did you do a CAD program? I use a program called BikeCAD. Oh yeah, I know BikeCAD. Yeah, so yeah Brent, a, he's yeah, here. Brent's awesome. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I mean, I do some some stuff, like I design, if I have to get a part machine, like the seat colors, Oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. But for the most part, a lot of it's uh, 2D for the best ones. Yeah. Just because we're only looking at one dimension at a time. Oh, well, am I in the way? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, that's okay. Um, we were only allowed one bike per category. And this guy just said. All right, so take a look at these bikes. This one's titanium. Look at these welds. Look at that. Amazing. That's cool. No, no problem. It's all good. It's a casual, it's a casual interview. Is this? Oh, you know what it is? It's a little better now. It's not great. That's okay. You just need to tighten that up. Yeah. All right, we're making repairs right here. I can, if you loosen it, I'll hold it down. Oh, okay, you got a ball in? That's good. Okay, there you go. All right, tighten it up. Oh, no problem. Oh, it happens. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Basically, to sum it up, uh, where do we find all your stuff? On the internet, sparbikes.com. Okay. Instagram. And are they custom built to a person, or are they, or are you? All custom okay. built. Nice. And uh, uh, would, any advice to uh, high school students trying to get into making their own bikes or getting into mechanical engineering? Yeah, I think it's good to make stuff and just start messing around with things. Okay. Uh, yeah, draw things, build right. things, do whatever you can. And nice. Find people to help you out. And uh, any now, I'm the shop teacher. Would you give me some advice? What would you like me to teach students? Um, what do you wish like uh, there was a teacher that you had that would teach somebody something? Then like you could tell me, and I'll just do it. You know, like now you have access to the teacher. You have access to the teacher lesson plans. Okay. I think it's always good to help kids do what they want to do. 
Right. If it's custom built for you, yeah. let them do what they want to do. We are actually judging those yeah. gravel bikes. I agree. So I'm going to make a last I agree 100%. call. Bring your gravel bikes on back. So this so this is a crazy announcement right now. It's like we're in school. We're gonna, what's going to happen? The, the lunch bell. Boop! No, so I don't know if you caught that, but what he was saying was let the students do what they want to do so they're interested. I run my shop like that, and the way I grade it, because that would be a really diverse amount of projects, is I do before and after photos, and then they have to put it in a, 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 like a blog at the end of the week. Yeah, and I don't mind, because that way failure is rewardable, whereas the other way, if you just test people then, and you make them all do the same thing, failure is a bad thing. And so I always make it sure that failure is okay so that they can learn uh, from their mistakes. There's a lot of failure. I've built a lot of bad bike frames. <laughs> yeah, so, so do you, the school system's interesting. They put failure on the bottom, but really that should be on the top. Yeah, that's how you Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Adam. Okay, I'm Mr. G, and thanks for tuning in. See you later.